Hello everyone, welcome to Lime Guru channel. In this session, we will learn that how you can submit your first Kubernetes task using Airflow scheduler onto the Kubernetes pod. And we will be using Kubernetes pod operator in this uh, coding exercise. So this, um, you can see in my uh, PyCharm editor that I have created one Airflow job and uh, on the top we have the uh, standard import statement specific to Airflow packages and then we have the default arguments at, uh, at the global for the global configuration level and then uh, specific to the DAG we have certain properties set now these are pretty much standard properties that I have set up in terms of schedule let's say the job will start two, day, two days ago and the schedule interval is uh, uh, one day that that means that the job will start two days back and um, before two days uh, Starting two days back the job will run every day. So the time gap is one day now the focus is not on these uh, Configurations because you must be aware about these configurations. If you know airflow, but uh, in this session I'll be particularly talking about that how you can create Kubernetes uh, jobs using Kubernetes pod operator in uh, in the airflow let me zoom in a bit uh, to uh, deep dive into this kubernetes pod operator so what we'll do is in this specific example we will be creating two tasks t1 and t2 and both the tasks are using kubernetes pod operator and what these tasks will do it will uh, spin up a new pod onto my kubernetes cluster which is running on my local i have uh, kubernetes enabled on my docker for de desktop and i am using uh, that configuration to connect to my kubernetes um, from my airflow so what this uh, job will do it will spin up uh, kubernetes pods using kubernetes pod operator and uh, i'll try to run sample python program and i'll try to print uh, some uh, hello statements um, in the respective pods in both task t1 as well as task t2 so you can see here the default namespace i have said that any pod which will be spin up using kubernetes pod operator it should use the default namespace in my kubernetes cluster the image that i want to run when the pod will spin spin up or a container will run so inside that container i want to run this image which is python 3.7 so this image will provide Python execution environment onto my uh, container uh, and then what I'm trying to run is in the com command uh, para, uh, command variable so in the command I have specified that I want to run my Python program Python code and the code is print hello task one so this code will be running inside a Kubernetes pod into my um, Kubernetes cluster and the name of the task is task one so you will be able to see that the task one will be there in my airflow DAG and uh, in cluster property I set up false it will be true if your airflow setup is inside uh, uh, kubernetes cluster but my airflow setup is not inside a, a kubernetes cluster the airflow setup in itself is outside of the kubernetes cluster so it, this uh, flag is set to false um, and the task ID is again uh, it's a unique ID to this task which is task 1 the config file here I have to provide my uh, uh, cube config file which uh, will be pointed by my cube CTL utility uh, cube cuddle utility will uh, will use uh, this config and airflow will use this config to connect to your kubernetes cluster so uh, by default if you're running it on your local so the cube uh, config will be in your home directory so whatever your home directory is inside that there will be dot dot cube folder and config folder so i'm not going inside uh, the setups of kubernetes the setups of airflow but what i wanted to show uh, that using airflow how you can submit a job on kubernetes using a kubernetes pod operator so let me zoom out uh, again Sim the way we have a task one where i'm printing hello task one which i'll show you that it will be running on a kubernetes uh, cluster in a pod similarly i have task two also so the only difference is that in task 2 I have printed hello task 2 instead of hello task 1 and then uh, what is my uh, orchestration that task 1 will run first and then after that task 2 will run so this is my DAG uh, that task 1 will run and then task 2 will run so this is my complete DAG that I have created and I this DAG is already inside my um, airflow home DAG folder so my airflow setup um, will read this tag and it will show it onto the airflow dashboard so let's go to the airflow dashboard so this is my airflow dashboard and one thing I wanted to show you in this tag the name of the tag is uh, Python Kubernetes a workflow so this is the name of the tag let's see if it shows up onto UI or not so you can see here there is there is a workflow Python 
Kubernetes workflow showing up with the uh, it's the same name which I was showing here so it points to this tag so let's open this tag uh, so once I open this tag let me zoom in a bit so you can see here it the tag shows task 1 and task 2 so the task 1 corresponds to this task t1 task because it has the id task 1 and name task 1 so it will it it maps to this task and similarly task 2 uh, belongs to t2 where i'm printing hello tasks 2 so you can see the dag has been created here and you can also see certain uh, previous runs of this job also you can see here uh, um, uh, you can the green color you can see that this job ran a uh, couple of times let me rerun this job and let's see whether it's able to create the and the pods under the Kubernetes cluster or not. So let me rerun this um, uh, DAG manually by clicking on the trigger drag option. So I have rerun this DAG. So you can see here it has started execution. Let me go to the graph view of this DAG. So you can see uh, that this execution is going on. So task one is right now in is in execution stage and task one has been completed let's see what has happened inside task one so if i open the log so you can see here it has uh, launched a task using pod launcher so it has created a pod uh, with this name so that this pod has been created and inside this pod this my python logic has run and it has printed hello task one let me zoom in a bit so you can see here that hello task one has been printed but it has been executed using Kubernetes pod executor, Kubernetes pod operator. It has created a pod in my Kubernetes cluster um, in the default namespace and inside that pod it has run my Python python image and in using that python image my python code has run which is hello task one let's go back and see the task two status so it's task two is also completed it shows in green status so if i click on task two so in task one we had hello task one uh, but in task two you can see we have hello task two and again it has used pod launcher onto uh, onto the kubernetes cluster so in this way you can use airflow you can create your airflow DAG, you can create your airflow job which can have multiple tasks and all those tasks will be running uh, onto the Kubernetes pod as your job. So each of the jobs, each of the tasks will create pod, they will do its work and it will be shut down. So this way you can connect to Kubernetes cluster and you can run your jobs at scale. You can run your task at scale in a containerized environment using the image which you have which you will specify in each of the tasks you can have a same image uh, in all of the tasks or you can have a different image in different tasks it's your choice it's totally configurable in uh, in airflow you can have different images or the same images so that was the uh, live example i wanted to share with you that how you can use kubernetes pod operator using airflow and you can run your task onto kubernetes cluster thank you for watching